What up guys, welcome back. So we have season three for Fluidity currently active for the next 89 days. And this is exactly how I'm gonna be playing it. So you guys know that we have been using Fluidity or we use Fluidity in the past to get an airdrop allocation. But at the same time, we actually added a lot of volume and we got also some points on Jumper because right now, if you go to Jumper, you click right here and you click on profile you guys can check how many points you have so that is so for this one i have level nine and actually for the other wallet that i use for fluidity i am also at level nine so obviously it played out pretty good to add some points and hopefully receive the future airdrop for a jumper now they have a season which is until june 29 i don't know if they're gonna have any other type of season after season two but at least we know it is until June 29. So if we calculate this um, for fluidity, there is 89 days. So that should be three months. We are in April, um, April, so May, Juin, Juillet. Yes, that should be until June. I have to count in French. I cannot do it in English. So yes, yeah, so that means we can actually use fluidity to form a two in one. Now I know that some of you are kind of pissed off with the airdrop, I was also because of the vesting, but we still made a profit. So for me, on my first airdrop allocation, I think it is worth around 400, 400 and something. And that is only 25% of my airdrop allocation. And that is vested for the, for the next four months. Last time that I checked, I think I spent or I burned um, around $80, $90 on fluidity. So by using Jumper, I burn around $90. So overall, I'm still in profit. I made some money, but obviously I'm adding a lot of points for Jumper. So basically that's the goal. I'm gonna be using fluidity to swap back and forth. There is a lot of things that you guys can do to participate on the airdrop. So for example, you're gonna be receiving loot bottles in case this is your first time getting involved with fluidity basically by using FUSDT, USDC, FUSDC, or their token, which is the flight token, the governance token, you guys are gonna be receiving some loot bottles. Very important. Last time I know that some of you, instead of swapping, they actually send, you actually send some funds from wallet to wallet. That is not available anymore. So if you do so, you're not gonna be receiving any type of loot bottles. For every loot bottles that you receive, you're gonna be receiving um, some fly tokens. So basically that's the goal, to earn as many bottles as possible. So in three months, you guys can be able to um, claim your airdrop. Also, something that is kind of interesting is that we're gonna be receiving some SPN rewards, which is um, Superposition, that is an L3 that they're building. I'm kind of bullish on it, just because there is not a lot of L3 right now and you guys know that usually first movers they can make a lot of money so that's why i'm kind of bullish on it and obviously if i can receive it for free even better so basically by transacting by taking some swap using fly and and or fusdc the more uh, you're going to be receiving some loot bottles um adding some volume using fly over Okay, so if you use Fly over FUSDC, you're gonna be receiving a multiplier, but obviously FUSDC is stable, but Fly actually goes up and down in price. So it really depends on you if you wanna take the risk of swapping back and forth. But if you're doing it right away, most likely you should not lose a lot, but obviously you can check it out and see how it works for you. Then if you guys are using some of the partners, DEXs, they have Camlet, Jumper, Uniswap, Trader Joe, and Remses. You're going to be receiving a 12x multiplier. For me, Jumper is the way to go because none of these are actually tokenless. So I'm not really into using Uniswap, Trader Joe, or any other because I'm not going to be receiving an airdrop out of it. Then we have providing liquidity for Fly and FUSDC on Camlet and Trader Joe. That is something that you guys can do if you want to. But obviously, your funds will be locked for some time. Actually, you can remove it right away. But if you don't have a lot of funds or if you're planning to use your funds, then eh, it is not something that I'm okay with doing because I would rather just have my funds and rotating it into several projects. And the last one is referring users. Um, last time that I checked, I think if you guys use a 
referral link you get five loot bottles um, every time uh, for every 10 bottles they get um, if you click on a referral link yourself you receive five loot bottles as they start again uh, okay so yes if I click on a referral link I'm gonna be receiving five loot bottles so what I'm gonna do is add my referral link in the description so if you guys want to do it want to use it go ahead and do so if not obviously you don't need to use it to start using fluidity then lastly they're gonna have some airdrop missions galaxy and rep 3 so i'm guessing some quests that we can participate to increase our airdrop allocation so let me go ahead and show you guys the process first of all um you need to fluidify some money or just take a swap so let's just go to exchange i think i have some money on arbitrum uh yes 129 so basically, I'm just going to swap it for USDC just to show you guys the whole process. Let me remove some of these, maybe 33. Take a swap. Again, right here, we're basically farming jumper because we're adding some transactions and some volume. Let's go ahead and confirm. There we go. So that should be the first step. Once that is done, click right here on the top, fluidify money. Uh, fluidify. Here we go. Click on USDC, maximum amount. I'm gonna create a fluid asset. Let's do next. And then we're gonna be approving And I'm guessing a confirm the transaction. Not actually approve. Max, next, approve. You guys already know how to do this, but just to show you guys the process in case you have some doubts. Confirm. There we go. So now I have some fluid assets. So basically what I can do is go to jumper. Click right here. So I have my FUSDC. Once I click on it, what I can do is swap it back to USDC. So obviously it will be a stable to stable swap. So I'm not really losing any type of funds. But if not, what I can also do is just swap it for some fly tokens because I'm going to be receiving some multiplier. But again, it really depends on you guys, because if you swap for fly tokens, since it is not a stable token, the price might go up. It might go down. So obviously you might lose a little bit of funds if you're trading. Or swapping so let's go ahead and take this review swap start swapping and confirm do I need to approve this also I also need to do it one good trick you guys can use is if you're gonna be swapping back and forth many times you can actually just increase these don't go crazy I'm not saying you should increase it to one million dollars but a thousand dollars is okay because I am obviously planning to use it several times so I don't need to approve again and again. It really depends on you. If you want to do it each time, you guys can do it. And basically that's it. There you go. I just took my transaction. So right here, if I go and close, cancel. And we go to airdrop. My loot bottle should increase. Oh, there we go. So now I have six and it is actually uncommon. Not bad at all. So I have six loot bottles. Um, so the more transaction that I take, the more swaps that I take. And by using FUSDC and also Fly, obviously I'm going to be receiving way more. And also by using Jumper or any of these others. But for me, I do think it is quite better to just use Jumper because since it is so less, we're basically farming two projects in one. So yes, we actually have more, more time than enough to get involved with it. So what I'm planning to do is a few times a week, I'm just going to be adding some volume to it so I can farm jumpers, so I can farm fluidity and hopefully receive a good airdrop out of it. Again, if I receive something like $400 in the future, again, I'm still going to be happy about it because my main focus is jumper. But if I can farm two projects in one, and obviously receive the fees that I'm spending on Jumper and also on Arbitrum, then I'm going to be quite happy with it. Oh, by the way, yes, it is on Arbitrum in case you guys don't know. So that's it. 
Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts about it. Um, and that's it. Happy farming. Bye-bye, guys.